Good morning. Okay. Well, good morning crew. It is bright and early. We uh, managed to drag Charlie out of bed at like 5 a.m. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've got half a day today. What's happening in our neck of the woods is we've got a cyclone out off the coast and it's found some pretty wild weather in. Got big swells stupidly hectic wind and um, this morning gives us till lunch with no wind for some reason might be the eye of the storm something like that and then it boots up again so uh, we've got half a day to make this happen we're gonna shoot up the island we've got some pretty special plan today something neither of us have ever tried before I've seen it done but I've never done it uh, we've had to get a few extra apparatus for this so um, Stick with us, hope you enjoy this one. Once we're on the beach, you'll figure it out pretty quick, I'm sure. But for now, we're gonna boost it up the island, uh, try and beat this wind, it kicks in just after lunch. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you up there. So, stick along for the ride. See you when the action's happen. Coming in nice and shallow. It's our spot for the day. It's looking pretty crispy up here. Time to unload. Let's get this oh, puppy happening. It's not going to be heavy. It's freaking heavy. Are you having it? What are you doing? Muscles. Ready? Okay. Look at that. See you later. Yeah. You can't even give him the lawn ready to go. <laughs> She's keen. <laughs> Taking your tuna and going. Bye. Thank a scouty and we'll get into it. She's dug in. Okay. Happy days. Tide's coming in, so she'll be sweet. And yeah. Time to make this thing happen. Tower's off to get a live bait. <laughs> okay, so something different today. Like I said, what we're doing today is we are going to go drone fishing. Now, I've seen this done a few times and I've always wanted to try it, but A, we've only just got the new drone and B, I was always worried about running out of battery being able to film a drone, but we've got a new little addition which is gonna let us have charge on the beach 24 7 no matter where we are so pretty cool little thing uh i'll show you throughout the video and then we'll do a bit of a wrap up of that little unit at the end but uh for now we're gonna get rigged up there's a fair bit involved uh so i'm gonna get it all rigged up then i'll show you what's going on so you don't have to watch me bugger around and then uh we'll get some baits out and see if this is gonna work for us in our special little location so stick with this i reckon it's gonna be a pretty cool episode Okay legends, we're pretty much set up. I just gotta put some baits on then we can start getting into it. I'll show you what the go is here. So, the drone, I've bought what's called a Gannet Sport X, I think. It's a mechanical release clip. So I'll show you this. It just straps over your drone and underneath it's got a tension spring loaded set of ball bearings and you can preload them to a set adjustment so that the weight just clips out and because they're ball bearings they're super smooth it drops really really nicely very easily so basically you just free spool your bait out when you get to where you want you either put your hand on the spool or thumb on the spool depending what reel you're using and it should pop straight out should being the key word i am going to try this up the beach first before i launch it over the water just in case because it's a brand new drone don't want to lose it yet Done a few tests on the clip itself at home it should be set very lightly so we might have a few baits drop off before they're meant to but i'd rather that than a drone go swimming uh, i've got two rods rigged up so we are using the pen prevail 
surf rod series so these are pretty heavy duty these come in all the way up to 37 kilo sticks which is pretty cool so i've got a overhead version here we got 65 pound backing 45 pound top shot um this one's just going to run with a circle hook single bait star sinker pretty light setup that's for anything that swims long could be rays shovelies um trevally who knows out here there's so much stuff swimming around it's insane the second one's a bit heavier duty again so we've got another pen prevail that's a 37 kilo stick i'm pretty sure big pen authority loaded with 45 pound 65 backing again uh i've got a bit of a slider rig going on here a bit of a grapple sinker because i'm going to run a bigger bait on that we're going to put a chunk of tuna out there um and see what's going to eat that so pretty keen to give this a shot actually um tia's going to supervise and tell me what i'm doing wrong when i crash a drone <laughs> hopefully it doesn't come to that but it is a beautiful day out and just to tell you how wild this cyclone is over the hill here a couple of kilometers away is the surf side of fraser island and we can hear the waves crashing and dumping from here and the wind's going the opposite direction it's not pushing the sound to us so yeah there has been reports of like up to five meter swells over the surf side which you would not gauge looking at this we're pretty lucky so um, we're going to make the most of this little window. It goes to poo after lunch, so we'll get stuck into it now. Hopefully get a fish on the beach before this wind picks up. Wish us luck. Okay, drone's hooked up to the bait. Tower's there. We're going to see if this works. You ready, darling? Okay, I'd say it works. <laughs> it looks so weird. Yeah, that's the braid backing. Oh, there's a big fish there. Oh my god. There's a massive fish. It's like a tuna or a queenie or something. There's like a massive tuna or a queen fish <laughs> under the drone. I'm following him. You ready? Yeah. You're gonna have to stop flying okay, go. Yeah. Yep, that dropped. Yeah. Oh, he's turning around. Now, do I put it up for a tree? Yep. Oh. Oh my God. What is that? It's like a big trevally or a big queen fish. Oh, he's turning around. I'm just going to tighten the Yeah, tighten the drag a bit. <laughs> Safely landed. Oh, maybe away from the tower. Beautiful. Okay, legends, what well, a trap is set. We've got two rods out. We've got big rod and yakka rod. So, God knows which one's going to go off first. Hopefully both at the same time. It'd be pretty cool. But, two at once. yeah, two at once, yeah. One camera guy, two rods. Um, so, doing those drone drops does suck a lot of battery out of drone, especially ours, because it's quite little and we're maxing out the payload and that poor little thing. So, <clears throat> pardon me. So with those two or three drops that didn't quite go to plan, it was sucking juice every time. As soon as we got the bait out to where it was meant to go, the low battery alarm came on. It's where this little thing comes into its own. This is the Blue Eddy EV3A. Now this is a full portable power station. Thing's got 12 volt USB, uh, USB-C, 240, as well as solar inputs and even a light, which is pretty cool. 
But I've been running this thing at home and everyone kind of rags out these little things, says, oh, they haven't got enough powder, only in watts. Let me tell you, I charged our massage gun, my phone and the drone all at once to try and chew this sucker down, charged everything to 100% and still had two hours of charge left in it after it was done. So these things are pretty awesome. Uh, full LCD display right there. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but shows you how uh, how full your charge is, how many hours, so at 100% you've got 30 hours worth of charge, shows you what's going out and what's going in. So things comes with a solar input cord, the regulator's already built in there, it's lithium, the charge is already in there, it's a fast charge unit. So what we're going to do is, that's where these things come in handy, I'm just going to run this thing flat out all day between the drone batteries, the remote and my phone to keep everything fully topped up, that way if we do hook up I know I've got the drone to drop more baits, but I've also got it to film. So I'll do a full run down this little bad boy after at the end of the episode. But for now, we'll get our drone on charge and uh, kick this puppy over. Okay, so you can see that bad girl is charging my drone batteries. 240, got 100% now. We got 3.7 hours of charge time left and it's pumping out 67 watts. So. You can do the watts to amps conversion, but um, yeah, 3.7 hours of charging GoPro batteries should get us a fair whack of flight time. So it's pretty good. Uh, handy little unit, weighs bugger all, and fully portable. So uh, this thing will be coming on quite a few adventures moving forward, that's for sure. In the meantime, wait for one of these rods to go off. Fingers crossed, get stuck into a good one. Tower's just spotted a big shadow out on the flats. We got the light spin gear. Let's see if we can intercept it. It might have a trevally or something hanging off it. You lost him. See what it was? Ah, uh, farmer. Looked all right. Looked all right. I know, I heard the lure land. I was like, oh, she's pretty close. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There's one on you there. Look at him. He's following it in. Yeah. Just in this little first gutter here. I think they're big dark. Probably. There he is, look, they're following you right in. There's one just here. Oh, look at him, look, they just followed it all the way in. Just spin it in a bit quicker. That's what I was doing before. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, there they are, just here. Jeez, there's some big ones. Yeah, whatever I had was decent. <laughs> That's cool. Yes, got one. Come on! Oh, only a little fella. Oh, look at that. Tiny little dart. Woo! See what a little fella? He's out there. That's pretty cool. Bigger one I'd ever go, alright? Oh, I think we've got... Hey! Drone rod! Drone rod! Just got a hit. On the yakka. Really? Yeah. I just walked over, it was real slack, I wound it up and then the rod just loaded up, went there and then stopped. On the drone bait! <laughs> you wouldn't read about it! It's so good! Oh, is he still there? Yeah. Swimming towards us, I think. A 
I was spinning down on the water's edge and Brett was like, I'm going to go put some sunscreen on and lucky he did because then he came back to our little station and we're on. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> on the small boat, just a single little yakka dropped out. Feels like an actual fish. Oh, I hope so. It's like, in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, but like a trevally or something cool, maybe? Yeah, hopefully it's it is some... something cool. Do I want to pull along? We did, um, oh, he is. We did drop it a fair way out. Like, we did, right out on the Right out chain. on the colour chain. So it's like, on you've got fish, the shallow. Remember? And then <laughs> the deep. And then, yeah, Brett dropped it on. He's seen a fish on the drone. And I had to hold the the spool and stop the it from continuing to like go out and then and drop the bait. This is cool. I like it. Pretty yeah. exciting. <laughs> Success on the first try. Your first uh, ever drone fish. Drone fish. Wonder what it's gonna be. I don't know. Stay tuned guys for what this fish is gonna be. <laughs> We just got a glimpse of it. It is huge. Um, I don't know what it is, but we're not running. Oh, there it goes. We're not running any wire. It's purely just a 80 pound mono leader and a single circle hook with a little yakker on it. So look at the saw, isn't it? It's, it's just, a, it's in the shallows now. It's out here. You probably won't be able to see it on the gully very well. It's a massive But the shadow color. is huge. And he hasn't really played up yet, considering the size of it. That is very large for a little 45 pound setup. This thing is massive. I'm a bit concerned because he's gone around. I think he's going around the other line, but he went under it. Hopefully he's not tangling that up. He's going right now, he's just about in front of us. Yeah, and there's another shadow just out in front of you as well, just here. That's it. That's us. No, there's Swimming. a shadow there and then there's a big shadow over there. There's oh. two. Oh, the one in front of us is ours, just here. Yeah. And it's large. And it's moving quick there, look at it. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh, That's what I said to you, there's two yeah, swimming right towards right each other. Here. Just here. Oh, and there's dolphins. <laughs> just over the back. <laughs> Everything's happening. Oh, I hope to God we get this in and see what it is, because this is the right line to be doing this with. Yeah, well, come on. <laughs> oh, I don't want to push her too hard. I know, it's coming in, and Ooh. the one behind it is milling. It's coming in quite nicely. Wow, how's that? Drone fishing sick. <laughs> Just sit on the beach and launch a little yuckies in it. Yeah, I hope that is wild. A... What is that? That's I don't know. Oh, well, imagine if it's a big treble. Something. Might go for a wander and yeah. see. <laughs> this is going to go for a wander and see just in case Brett doesn't get this in. You might want to go. Under the other one. Yeah, I was going to say you might want to get yourself around that line. Remember you got the boat there too. Oh yeah, he is too. Oh no, that's another fish there. Are you sure? Yep. Oh, we're on. Look on that. No, I'll take Quick. That's another fish up the right way. Do the drag up a bit. Bit more, bit more. Okay, into it. Set that hook. Tower's hooked up too, we got a double. Oh, there's mine. Oh! Oh! That's... Oh, did oh. it just jump? Yes! Yeah, hang on. Holy Julie! Did it you see that? No, I didn't. Oh! oh it's jumping out of the water. <laughs> it's all pandemonium. We got a double hook up on the drone boat. Oh! Oh, it's jumping again. What is that? What have you got? You are getting smoked. Oh, I just jumped again. One, 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 one. Oh, I must busted you off. Oh. Busted me. 
You got smoked. Oh. That thing was just doing Mickey flips. <laughs> what was that? I have no idea, but it smoked me. Wow, I must have busted off. I think it did. Because we didn't have oh. wire on that one either. That was just oh. mono. Oh my God, it's oh. all happening. Ah. <laughs> that was sizzling. That spool was cooking. That was wild. Like, oh. actually wild. I'm still bloody getting stretched here. Mine's in the shallow still, thank God. But wow, that was big. That smoked me. It was it like all happened Mickey at once. flipping out of the water. Yeah, it's going on. It's pretty boring. And then bam, two at once. Oh, mine's deciding to. He doesn't like it here. You got. <laughs> you got home. Yeah. Oh my god! That's a long way out too, you gotta be reeling ahead of you. That was insane. That was He didn't stay in the water the whole time. Spent more time out of the water than in it. I know. I don't know what that was. It was big. Oh bloody oath it was. It was proper. There's that whole pot of dolphins out there still too. Okay guys, so we got the hook out, little circle hook perfectly in the corner of the jaw. You can see I actually bridled that bait to keep it away, so that the hook set really nicely. It was easy to get out and crush the barb on that, so it's that side of things done. Time to let this sucker go. It's full of energy. These things are just full of muscle, so I won't even have to do anything. Just swim out. Only a very little way. Go, 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 get your little rod. Oh, they're big diamond scale mullet, don't worry, they're mullet. We just got a big school of mullet coming here, diamond scales. There's a breeding ball here, so you got your big female, I like the little ones around it, just there. Uh, <laughs> I thought they were proper fish, not mullet. Uh, oh, yeah, just out here. Maybe we can just drone a bait rod on top of it now. What do you reckon? Yeah. Okay, I'll rig up that other rod and we'll give that a run. Sounds <laughs> Bloody hell, it's all, I'm soaking wet. That thing kicked my butt getting the hook out. So, yeah, we'll get re-rigged, get another bait on this drone and get back out there. It's all happening now. You ready? Okay, it fell off on its own accord, but it was out far enough, so I reckon we're on the money. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Oh, what's happening? It's happening again. The yakka, the salty yakka. <laughs> we're just down the beach going for a walk. The yakka's going off. Okay, ratchet off. Ratchet off. Yep. Ah, don't warn you. Star drag up. Do the drag, yeah. Keep twisting it. Keep twisting. Feel that? Bit more. Yeah. You got him. Yeah, girl. You. <laughs> Drone bait number two. Oh yeah, you definitely got him. Is he running? I just felt some head shakes. Oh yeah. Oh, he's coming in towards you. Nice and smooth, that's it. How you going there, doll? I'm on the pink. You're on the, you're on the mono already? Smashing him? Yeah. Hell um, yeah. Do you mind grabbing that gimbal for me, please? I can do that. Thank you. Just the rod is digging into my leg. Yeah. Thank you. How's that? Better? Yeah, no, it's just not digging in. <laughs> it's good fish. What do you reckon? Keep going, keep 
Right there. Yeah, another dark shadow. Did you say it jumped out of water? It came or up splash. surface, yeah, it yeah. splashed on surface. Hopefully you've got a natural fish in your shower. Look at this water. This oh, is... he's running, he's running. <laughs> he's just there, can you see him? I oh, just I seen him run. Did you? Oh, there he goes. I saw him up on top there. He's right there. Oh yeah. Oh, he is big, darling. <laughs> Bigger than mine, I reckon. Wow, they're loving me. Oh, I'm on. The other one's on. The other one's on. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Don't lose that one this time. Hopefully the gear doesn't fail. <laughs> oh no. Something going on with it. Yes, double. <laughs> Don't let that one spinny boy you off. <laughs> Yeah. I hear a boat or a plane or something. Oh yeah. High five. High five. Getting peeled. <laughs> this hasn't pulled drag yet. Wow, they just all of a sudden oh. come in waves. You're getting smoked. I can see yours, he's just hanging on the samba. Alright. I think my nose is hooked yet. <laughs> oh, I've got a long way to go on mine. I'll swap ya. Yeah, you have the gully for me. Yeah. In South Africa, they call them sand snakes. Here. Sandy. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Well, Tia's still fighting hers. I've managed to muscle mine in over there. We're gonna go release mine quickly and then we'll get on to Tao's. Tao's got a not bigger but a different species. So she's got the same white spot we got before. I've got what's called a common shovel nose, which is uh they're like a light sandy brown and they got a different tail than the other one. So I'll quickly show you this. We'll get the hooks out, release him, and then get on to Tao's. What's locally called a common shovely because we see these a lot more than the white spots. Um, but these ones have actually got more of a stingray like tail than the big ones so they're a lot more placid docile don't play up as much so this one will be an easy one to let go and then we'll get on to towers okay guys audio might be a bit muffled he just uh, gave me a proper shower but circle hooks out nice clean release i hope the audio is okay but um, so he's pretty chill. These ones are a lot more placid than the other species of white spot. So you'll see they're a lot paler. Um, got a transparent nose uh, on the actual shovel. And the tail is quite different. It's more like a stingray tail. Let's see if you feel that. More of a stingray than that like shark size. So. We'll do, we'll push this fella on his way, Tao's still got hers, and uh, yeah. 
Welcome big fella Zawai, very chilled by those brown ones You can see him just swimming away there So yeah, time to get to housing Again guys, barely any pressure on this fish Just walking beside him on the line here And he, uh, they'll just come in pretty chill So long as you don't drag them out of water um, as I said before, these ones do play up compared to the others, but uh, yeah, just use that same kind of approach on all these sharks and uh, should have a pretty good little experience. Okay guys, so I went to get the hook out and the hook actually fell out, so barbless circles working so well. Didn't lose fish, hook fell out as soon as we got it on. Nice clean release, let's get this guy back. Hey Tao, is that your first shovel nose? Uh, second. Second? Yeah. Biggest? Biggest, first Biggest. one. Yeah, Beautiful little shark, eh? <sighs> or ray, whatever you want to call strong. them. They are so strong, these ones, compared to the others. How epic is that? Hey. See you later, buddy. That's what they went off at the same time again. That definitely wasn't one of them spiraling out of water last time. Was no, it? that's actually was a good fish. Yeah. Good. Oh. See you, buddy. Happy? Yeah. Exhausted? Yeah. High five? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the pub. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pack up. We're out of here. We're done. So, um, get back before this wind kicks up. Maybe even have a swim. Okay, legends, we're packed up. Captain Tao's behind the wheel for the trip home. And we are going to waddle on back. We've got a bit of stuff to do this afternoon. Tao's back to work tomorrow. I've got some filming stuff to sort out. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome morning. Thanks for tagging along. And we've got some exciting things that we got in the works. So I've got to go back home and work this afternoon for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got some big things coming this year, so. Uh, we're off to a cracking start already. Can't tell you what they are and they're not going to happen real soon But they are definitely going to happen. So yeah, keep your eyes and ears open Keep following and you'll definitely find out what's happening But until then um, we're gonna meet you back at home because I'm gonna run you through this blue eddy power station Before we pull the pin on this video because this thing is an absolute weapon and we've got access for everyone viewing this Grab one yourself anyone who's thinking about trying this sort of fishing uh, I guarantee you a little investment like that will go a long way because um, I know three batteries definitely isn't enough to do this sort of fishing for a couple of hours and if you're just trolling it like we are you will chew through the batteries real quick. So, um... And super excited to go away camping because we always can't do that because when we go camping we generally go off grid so we don't have power. No, so we've only got the amazing. ute. amazing. We've this only got the amazing. ute with power. The boat doesn't have accessible well, it's got 12 volt on the boat, but who wants to swim to the boat every time you want to charge anything? So this thing's going to be pretty cool. We're taking it everywhere with us. Anyway, enough of me yabbering on. I'll see you legends back at home. Well legends, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And as promised, I'm here with the Blue Eddy EB3A to give you a quick rundown of this little weapon that we took on the beach during the drone fishing episode. Now what we've got here is basically a lithium ion phosphate power pack that comes in at under five kilos with a ridiculous amount of additions to it. So anyone out there that's the slightest bit 12 volt savvy will really appreciate how much kit this little weapon's got installed. So what we've got here is a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. You've got an integrated AC charger, which means you don't need a power pack when you're charging this bad boy from a 240 volt power point anymore. Less clutter, awesome. Solar charger controller that can handle up to 200 watts of solar input. And not only that, you can integrate two charging methods together to get maximum input. These little bad boys here have actually got a 430 watt input cutoff so you can get some seriously quick charging time, but I'll touch on that in just a minute. Just to add to the additions 
This little thing's got your standard 12 volt charging. It's got 240 volt charging. It's got two USB-A charging ports. It's got a fast charge USB-C charging port. And for all you guys who just can't be bothered plugging in your phone or you always get your broken phone charging leads, it's even got a wireless charge pad on top. Now these little weapons are good for up to two and a half thousand charge cycles. Now I know some people will go, oh it's only two and a half thousand. Put it into context, you charge this bad boy every single day for that two and a half thousand charge cycles, seven years worth of charging before you've got to worry about it. On top of that, two years warranty and lifetime Blue Eddy support. So not only does this little weapon come with all those features, it also comes with a full wireless integrated app. So in that app, you can control and monitor all your wireless devices, as well as control the charging modes. And these little weapons actually come with three charging modes. You've got your eco mode for super quiet, low voltage charging, when you just wanna have some quiet time and trickle charge. They've got your standard charging mode, which is a bit over 200 watts of input, and you've also got a boost charging mode, depending on your charge levels. So when we came back from drone fishing, our charge levels were sitting around that 40%. I threw it on the boost mode to see how quick it would do, and it said I'd be charged in roughly 20 minutes. So that is some seriously quick charging. Not only that, you can also integrate the solar and AC input chargers so that the solar will charge to its maximum potential and the AC will then take over the remainder to ensure you get that full 430 watts. All the outputs in this are also smart regulated, which means no matter how low your battery level is, you will be getting the full efficiency out of your charging for all your devices. So if anything that I've said today, guys, has sparked any sort of interest whatsoever, I strongly advise, click the link below, have a look at these little weapons. They are an absolute game changer when it comes to getting power out in the open. And anyone who does a little bit of filming or whether it be for YouTube or their own purposes will know that these days, a lot of batteries self-discharge to protect the battery themselves. So no matter how many extra batteries you've got, you will always be limited of how long you can film for. Whereas if you've got one of these little weapons on board, constantly charging, you're definitely gonna get that extra few days or even capture that extra special moment that you might not have originally. So click the link below, Legends. Thank you, Blue Eddie, for jumping on board for this video and we'll see you on the next episode.